I know a lot of restaurateurs, uh, and a lot of those restaurateurs, here's their, here's their secret. Hello, Chef Marcus Giuliano here, and I'm your chef on a mission. Today's mission is, can you really trust a chef? You know, the saying is, okay, if the, you know, never, never trust a skinny chef. You know, you trust a fat chef because they're eating the food that they're cooking. And this is kind of funny because I know a lot of restaurateurs. Uh, and a lot of those restaurateurs, here's their, here's their secret. They don't eat at home what they serve in the restaurant. Yeah, they're at the restaurant, they'll eat the food there. But when they go shopping for their family, it's a totally different story. They're not buying commodity meat. They're not going to the regular grocery store. A lot of these people go to Whole Foods. They go to health food stores. The wife goes, the spouse goes and buys more nutritious food because they know that eating nutritious food is super important. And I mean, I know this, this story from from a lot of several several different restaurant owners, from restaurant owners that own dozens of restaurants to um, to my, to restaurants here locally uh, that, that where they own one restaurant. So this is this is kind of like you know that these chefs and restaurant tours know these restaurant owners know that hey, the food we're serving isn't really that sustainable. It's not organic. It, there's there's not that much nourishment in it. So they actually take their their hard earned money and go buy organic food with it. And that's what they live at home. And it drives me crazy because I wanna be able to go to a restaurant where, or do a business. I wanna do a business with, I wanna do a business with a winery that drinks their own wine. It would be odd if I bought wine from a winery where they're like, well, we don't drink that wine because it's not good enough, right? It's nice to drink all their wine. It's nice to eat other food. But they, you want them to say, hey, this is our house wine too, right? This is what we put on our table most days. And yeah, sure, we go and get other wine, but because there's thousands and thousands and millions of wineries, right? Hundred, several hundred thousand wineries in the world, whatever that number is. So yeah, so that's the one biggest disappointment that I have with uh, with a lot of with a lot of businesses in general. They don't they don't practice what they uh, what they preach. So their home life is different. Their personal life is different than the product that they're selling. And I told the crowd, I was speaking to a crowd yesterday uh, on salmon, and I said, that's my guarantee at my restaurant. And it's been that way for 20 years, is what we have in the restaurant, it has my personal approval on. It has what I believe is the healthier version, the healthiest version of that possible product. That's why we don't stock traditional white sugar. That's why we don't stock you know, regular, regular salt, um, white flour. That's why we don't really have a deep fryer because there's things that I just don't believe in and I can't serve. That's why we don't stock Jack Daniels and the big companies that, that, that Diageo, all the brands that Diageo owns. I, I don't want to support a system that's not community-minded, that's not sustainable, that, that works on undercutting the, 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 the independence, that works on undermining the independence, that will do whatever they can and throw their money around to be able to gain market share. And that's what all those big companies do. And I don't like that. You know, the General Mills in the world, the Diageo's in the world, the InBev, Budweiser, InBev. Um, the InBev has 200 brands, 200 brands. Diageo has 200 brands. Um, for everything from Guinness to scotches, uh, to wines, to, to beers, to, to spirits, to all kinds of things. They don't need our money. That's not the stuff that I wanna make my money on. And that's not the stuff I'm gonna go home and drink or go out and drink somewhere. When I go out, when I go to a restaurant and I, I, look, at the, I look at their wine list and I, I look at their beer list and if there's something that, that I don't believe in on that list and I can I can find smaller independent brands, especially with beer now, it's so easy to find craft beer on, on, on places. But I'll, I'll look at like the tap beer lineup and I'm like, there's no way that I'm drinking Goose Island because it's owned by Budweiser. There's no way I'm drinking Blue Point because it's owned by Budweiser. There's no way I'm drinking Absolute because it's owned by this company. There's no way I'm there's no way I'm drinking a brown foreign product. There's no if, the, if, if there's no options for me, I just say, you know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drink today. I'm not gonna say, well, I'll drink that Absolute anyway, I'll have that Grey Goose anyway, I'll have that Patron anyway. That's not me, that's not Jamie. We'd just rather not have a drink. 
I mean, we can drink, we can drink the good stuff, the stuff that we believe in on a daily basis in our restaurant. So what's the difference if we're going out with friends or we're going out somewhere and they don't have what we like? We just say, okay, I'm not drinking tonight. We don't need to drink every night we go out. We don't need to drink every night we're in my restaurant. So that's the biggest difference. I just wanted to share that because I, 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 I find it disturbing because that's not the way I want to do business and that's not the people that I want to do business with. So yeah, just my just my point of view and some some insights here in the restaurant world. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and always please give it a thumbs up and uh, give it a share.